we have these great uh, medical tools for treatment of heart failure, in including very uh, powerful uh, drugs that we can use for the treatment of heart failure. Um, and, and despite that, there was still a substantial uh, 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 proportion of patients with heart failure who will um, uh, progress, their heart failure will worsen, they may need hospitalization, they remain symptomatic, and may ultimately die of the disease. And so there are various um, very interesting and exciting non-pharmacologic therapies that are available for the treatment of heart failure. Included in that would be cardiac resynchronization therapy. Um, now, cardiac pacemakers have been around for a long time, and those are generally devices, small devices that are implanted just under the skin, under the collarbone, um, attached to a pacer lead that travels through a vein into the heart. And those pacemaker devices uh, provide electrical stimuli to, uh, to pace the heart at a certain uh, uh, rate. In heart failure, a uh, uh, substantial proportion of patients have uh, what we call dyssynchrony, where the electrical impulses are delayed in traveling from one part of the heart to the other. And this contributes to the mechanical insufficiency of the heart. So if the heart is already weak and you have heart failure on that basis, if you in addition have this delay, this dyssynchrony in the way the impulses travel from one side of the heart to the other, that can worsen the mechanical efficiency of the heart. And so it's thought by pacing both sides of the heart with a lead, uh, pacing the left side as well as the right side of the heart, that you can restore synchrony, that is you can pace both sides of the heart at the same time, and therefore the goal is to improve the mechanical efficiency of the heart. And this has been studied fairly extensively, and in fact you're able to improve the heart function, reduce heart size, and reduce hospitalizations, maybe even increase survival in appropriately selected patients uh, for this therapy.